Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video, Christmas Eve Eve. Thursday, December 23rd. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Uh, getting set for the Christmas weekend is going to be harshly cold. Snowflakes are likely at some point during that 24-hour period on December 25th. The big question is, can we see any accumulation to bring a technical white Christmas to the Deep South, at least Birmingham, for the first time on record? Let's see. Take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. Downtown Clanton always looking good. Illuminated so nicely. It's, it's cold. Uh, temperatures are below freezing in most spots. Here's the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam looking to the south off toward Red Mountain. And from downtown Jasper, things are nice and quiet and cold up in Walker County. Our big trough has been producing so much havoc out in the southwest with rain, mudslides, mountain snow beginning to move. And that will impact us over the Christmas weekend. But today, a stable, dry, cold northwest flow aloft. And yeah, buddy, we're below freezing. In fact, uh, Birmingham, the cold spot for a change, 27. Uh, most other locations are sitting around 30 with a clear sky. Travelers today, there's a look at the watch warning map. Things have certainly calmed down back in the southwest. Uh, we got winter weather advisories breaking out for parts of the Midwest. And again, we'll just see how this Christmas storm evolves in coming days. And uh, some watches and warnings inevitably will go up for that, uh, uh, especially for areas north and east of here. This is the uh, day three snow outlook from HPC. And of course, day three is Christmas. Uh, valid uh, from uh, 6 o'clock Christmas morning until 6 o'clock Sunday morning. And now this is the probability of at least four inches of snow. And you can see that uh, low end probability runs from northeast Alabama up through the uh, Piedmont region. And again, uh, uh, we firmly believe we will see snowflakes here. The big question is, can we get enough on the ground uh, for a technical accumulation? And we'll talk about that. There's the QPF chart. And uh, again, I'll tell you now that the model output is just bewildering, but I think this is a pretty good solution on the overall moisture. The deeper moisture uh, over the southern part of the state, the moisture is pretty skimpy to the northwest. And of course, the big numbers are on the Atlantic coast where they'll be uh, looking for potential for a whopper of a snowstorm by Sunday if this thing phases and is positioned properly. Now, let's just get in there and look at it. This is the 06 ZGFS, the global forecast system, valid at noon today. There's your shortwave energy off to the west. Down below that, of course, today will be a very nice day. Sunny but cool. Temperatures this afternoon will likely peak in the mid to upper 40s. Both the uh, NAM and the GFS are showing 47. Nice day tomorrow for Christmas Eve if you're traveling. We'll call it partly sunny with highs in the low and mid 50s. Clouds will increase tomorrow night. All right, now let's move on to Christmas Day, Saturday. This is at noon, and we'll start with the look at 500 millibars coming off the GFS. You can see energy to the north, energy to the south. Vort Max down over uh, south Mississippi, energy coming down through uh, northern Arkansas, and uh, this is the look it depicts at noon. And I think it's very clear we can safely say that this will all begin as rain on Saturday morning. So I want to make it perfectly clear here, when you wake up Saturday morning and look out the window, don't expect snowflakes to be falling as you open the presents. Look for raindrops to be falling, uh, which, you know, it would be nice to have the snow then, but it should be wet. For most of you, having said that now, uh, at some point uh, we think the changeover will occur uh, and you can see the GFS is depicting the deeper moisture down to the south. The potential rain snow line here, and this is the zero degree line Celsius, about 5,000 feet off the ground over the Tennessee Valley. So the changeover initially should begin up there, uh, maybe Huntsville and the Shoals. But we note the low level critical thickness values. This is 1,850 millibars. That critical thickness value line is way down south below Birmingham, almost toward Montgomery which might suggest we'd see a better snow here uh, with an earlier changeover. All right, let's check the NAM. Now, you talk about model madness. 
Uh, the, the NAM has no moisture over South Alabama, the better moisture up north over the Tennessee Valley. And this is suggesting a couple inches of snow, maybe for Huntsville and those folks up on the Tennessee border with nothing down south, no rain, nothing down there. And that looks like a clear outlier. It's got the, the rain way back over Lake Charles and Galveston. The uh, European has been the most consistent. We'll say that. I mean, this is uh, 6 o'clock Saturday evening. It's got... Uh, uh, hardly any moisture to the north over Tennessee. Uh, enough moisture for some snow along the Interstate 20 corridor. Maybe, uh, you know, uh, an inch on the high end. But th th this would kind of confirm the dusting to one half inch thing with a surface low down south and a deeper moisture down south. And that really makes the most sense. And here's the Canadian that shows nothing. I mean, zero. And again, the Canadians performed horribly this cold weather season. I mean, it, it's gone from showing six inches to nothing, and it's just all over the board. It is a colder model. It's got the 540 line down to uh, Montgomery. And the RPM. Uh, this is uh, actually uh, Saturday evening. It's 7 o'clock, and it's got uh, light snow over much of North Alabama. And again, that kind of supports our dusting to one inch thing. But really, for the good accumulation, this is the accumulated snow output from the RPM. And it's got the really, you know, good accumulation for the Tennessee Valley and points north. So what does it all mean? You know, our job is to sort through this stuff for you and come up with a forecast. And this is what we're going to come up with for now. Uh, no reason to change our thinking. We're talking potential for a dusting to one half inch uh, in, in for most of north central Alabama, the Interstate 20 corridor. And of course, a dusting means technically there is no accumulated snow. You might see a little clump on the grass, but it doesn't count as a white Christmas. Somebody somewhere might pick up one half inch, and that is not a big deal. And I want to make it perfectly clear that this, again, does not look like a big deal. The only reason it is because there's a chance somebody somewhere around here might get a half inch. And that technically is enough to measure, and that technically is a white Christmas. It's not going to be, in our opinion, a big blanket of snow on the ground, which is what everybody wants. Uh, and a dusting to one-half inch is not really enough to make a snowman. So we don't want everybody getting excited. The better chance, we think, of getting maybe over one-half inch would be over uh, northeast Alabama, the high terrain, uh, up through northern Georgia, eastern Tennessee, up toward uh, uh, you know Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, where somebody up in there in the high terrain might pick up, you know, two inches on the high end, maybe a bit more. But that's the general idea. So, again, I don't think it, you know, causes travel issues. Temperatures should be above freezing during the day. Roads are just wet. So if you're traveling, traveling somewhere, you'll be fine. And remember, this is a pretty low confidence deal because the, the model madness, as you've seen. But that's the general idea that we're going to pre present to the public today. A dusting to one half inch. Rain Saturday morning, changing to snow before ending. Light snow. All right, Sunday, cold, man, goodness gracious, uh, still windy, be in the third, won't get out of the 30s with that, and there's your uh, strong uh, surface low off the Atlantic coast, it's a close call for the Interstate 95 corridor, and they're going to be really scratching the head on this one because they've seen runs all over the place, and uh, they're the ones that have potential for a big snow on, uh, on Sunday, if that surface low could be close enough to the coastline. Uh, Monday, we're still cold. Uh, we'll start the day down there around 20 teens for the colder valleys and the same thing on Tuesday, but we start to warm up a little bit Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday of next week, the moderation continues. Thursday, the Gulf opens up. A whopper of a lee low develops over eastern Colorado. Big snow again for the mountains out there. And there's a look at New Year's Eve. The big trough is out west instead of over the east. That big surface low uh, fills and moves north. Another surface low forms over New Mexico, and it just looks mild, breezy, and showery here. So if you're looking for a New Year's Eve snowstorm, forget that. That looks kind of balmy and windy and wet and maybe stormy. There could be some thunder involved in there. And then on uh, New Year's Day, that secondary low is near Shreveport. And we'll have to watch out for any severe weather. And then on the uh, second, a uh, big cold front comes through with rain and storms. And again, we start to turn colder again. And on the third, it's cold, nothing harshly cold. And again, we've got that, you know, flip in the North Atlantic Oscillation. The Greenland block goes away, and that's going to make it harder to get really cold air in here. I mean, it can turn cold. It's just harder to do it. And on the 7th of January, uh, that's really got the super cold air locked up uh, to the north and out west, and there's the surface chart and things out there look uh, relatively calm. 
All right, that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.